Hello everyone, welcome to Study Automation. In this video, we will see S3 bucket using command line interface. So for that, let's go here in S3. Just type here S3 and it's a bucket object storage bucket where you can store files, any kind of data throughout the AWS environment. So as of now, you can see in this S3, you can just click on buckets and right now we have one default bucket is available so I can just delete this bucket as well let's click delete you have to you know this bucket is not empty okay let it be for now so you have to make first empty it and then you will be able to delete it so I can create bucket from here I can add data inside this and those things also we can do from command line interface so first let me show you how we can do from here directly I'll just create here bucket and just type the name uh, it will be where actually your bucket file will be available the reason you have to select purpose and then name your bucket so this will name will be global unique so it should be unique I'll say my first bucket and then I'll just click next and CLI ACL disabled recommendation so let it be everything as is I'll just go and click create so this name already exists bucket name already exists so I'll say something else so it must be unique Right, so I have given this name and then I'll just say create bucket now one bucket is created and if I want to check whether you know these two bucket listing in CLI or not so what I'll do I'll just go here and type AWS AWS S3 LS So you can see now we have these two buckets available as we can see from here similarly now if I'll go inside this bucket and here I can create folder or if I want I can directly upload data also so I'll just click upload from here you need to just select file and then whatever file name that you want to you know add here you can do that so let's say in desktop I'll create here one folder s3 and inside this folder I can create any file so just go here and I'll say text let's write here test dot txt inside this file I can edit something this is my s3 bucket save it so now this file I'll just select click open and then after that we need to go down and click upload so now file is uploaded here and this is destination this is my bucket name bucket address where I can store this so in this bucket or we can say folder we can see we have one data available and uh, then we can you know download it we can create we can share to any other person if you want so now same thing we can do from command line so we can create here one bucket and then we can try to see that so for that I'll go here in command prompt and I'll type so let's say if I want to list all the buckets we have simple command AWS S3 LS if I want to create a new bucket then what I'll write AWS so before that if you want to take any help you can just write AWS as three help and then you will get complete description about how you can create bucket and all the complete information from here so I'll just say Q if you just press Q you will exit from that and then I'll create my bucket so I'll say AWS as three and then I'll say MB 
mb is used to create new bucket so i'll say mb and then write as 3 colon slash slash and then your new bucket name so i'll say my new bucket anything node.js click enter so now bucket if you get the same response that means bucket is created i'll just say aws s3 ls just to check so now you can see new bucket is created even if i'll go here and just refresh this page all right so i need to just go to back uh, buckets and here we can see that new bucket is created so now in this bucket if i you know want to upload some file right so mb is used to create new bucket and rb is used to remove the bucket so suppose if i need to remove my first bucket right so i'll just copy it and here i'll say aws s3 rb and then bucket name right so uh, it should delete but the thing is if i but that bucket should be empty if i write now right now it will not work because this okay so i have to write here in in this format so rb and then is3 colon slash slash so this way it will delete always you have to write s3 now it's saying that bucket is not empty so you have to delete it and uh, if you want that it should delete all the contents then what you can do hyphen hyphen force if you will use hyphen hyphen force it will delete with content as well so bucket is removed if i will just go and say aws s3 ls now bucket will not be available right so we have new bucket let's upload some file in that new bucket so i'll have to go to let's say where my file is available so i'll say cd desktop cd s3 this is the folder and in this folder i have one file test.text.text so in this file i'll just i will upload it and to upload i'll say aws s3 and then i'll say uh, to upload we have to write cp copy and using cp i will do um, the file name that i want to upload so i'll say this test file and then this test file where it should go s3 colon slash slash and then s3 bucket name so i'll just copy the bucket name from here and paste it my new bucket node.js i'll click enter this should copy file to this bucket let's go and check so here if i'll refresh we will have only one only new bucket created and then if i'll go inside it you can see we have one file available with 20 kb data so this is how you can upload and if you want to download then also you can download with the file name so suppose this is my file name and uh, i just wanted to download so to download i'll write aws s3 and then uh, still we write cp command so just want to copy and then we'll write here my bucket name so bucket name is s3 colon even if you can if you have the option you can just select it and then copy uri i'll copy it go here and then paste it so this is the uri of my file and then we have to tell that where we want to copy it right so we have to tell the directory if i'll just say dot it will copy in the same directory enter where i am right now so it will go in s3 so file is downloaded here if i will go now and see s3 bucket 
S3 folder you will see that this is the timestamp it's do just downloaded that let me just delete it and then download again go to the folder you can see we have this file available with content right so this is how you can upload and download from s3 bucket if you want to delete you can use rm to delete the file from s3 bucket it will just delete your file rm is used to remove file and if you just want to you know delete bucket you can use rb to delete bucket remove bucket rb and remove file just write here rm so it will delete the file from their bucket so um, let's delete that file as well so i'll go here and then remove this one i'll say instead of cp rm say i i'll say rm click enter now this should delete file from s3 bucket if i'll go here and refresh this you can see file is not available here is one use case suppose if you want to upload all the files from same folder right let's say i have here multiple files and i wanted to upload all these files to s3 bucket then how we will do that for that i'll just go here and this is our bucket name i'll just remove it and so basically we need to write aws s3 and then we can say sync sync we have sync command and then write current local drive name so suppose if your file is available or if your folder is available in other location you can just write here local directory name right but currently i am already into s3 folder so i can just write here dot and then i will write bucket name click enter so it should upload all the files from my local folder to s3 bucket if i will go here and refresh this you can see all the files uploaded here so this is how you can upload all the files folder if you want to the s3 bucket so i hope you are able to get s3 how we can upload download delete files from local to s3 bucket through command line interface thank you so much for watching the video see you in the next